<laughs> Mecca, Mecca, hi, Mecca, honey. Whoa. What a rough start we had there, Derek. I'll tell you, Mike. That's, uh, that's the roughest one since... Remember the time I spilled coffee all over my laptop? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a good year ago, I think, right? I you mean, know, I had forgotten that. That was, that was epic. That was a disastrous morning, yes. That was epic. I spilled... I, that time I spilled coffee like all over the desk into the computer onto my feet so so even it's, after i cleaned up that time and, and like we got started feet. i had yeah. sticky feet that whole episode <laughs> it was it was that was worse but, but today was was pretty um discombobulated yeah i think we could use that word for sure yeah man that was weird i couldn't even find my my little in-ear headphones i don't even know i've been yeah, doing you so know, much hey, moving around like in the in this space here why is that so i probably who knows where i put it i don't know well do you use them during the week i mean they're, they're I nice don't know. headphones right yeah i don't know what the heck i did <laughs> so well i'll yeah. tell you what mike uh this type of morning is i guess in line with this type of weekend given yeah. that memorial day usually the kind of big kickoff to the summer and it's already been hot at least here in new york city yeah last weekend was 90 degrees or something mm -hmm. and this weekend could have been a big one and yet it is pouring rain at every moment uh through most of the country as far as i as far as yes. i know and i i'm gonna say for good reason according to this uh our little indicator we have zero watchers so That's i want right. to i'm gonna say hello uh, to everyone who watches this on the replay right now. That's right. Which and is chat recommended by StreamYard that we do every time That's we start one. Oh, is that so? It says, remember to greet those who will watch the show later. Later. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome. If you are here later, I yeah. hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you're here later because no one's here right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Uh, it's, let's hope let's hope someone comes later on and watches this here. Um, so it's just me and you, Derek. It's just it's me and you. Lunch, sushi. Mm -hmm. um, just like the old days, Mike. Just like the old days. Mm -hmm. um, remember how scared we used to be to just get on camera. <laughs> it's true, man. Remember that this week actually, I went back and and just like scrubbed through some old episodes, and uh, you know some good stuff in there, but certainly we were uh, much less comfortable. Uh, oh yeah man i and, i know i uh, was i was uh it just felt weird to sit there and talk talk to your computer and look at yourself while you do it yeah for real for it's real really weird and also it's just different it's very i mean this is obvious but it's very different than having a conversation with somebody in real life yeah like it took me a while to to focus to be able to have the level of focus to like listen and pay attention and not just like wander and look around I yeah guess. <laughs> yeah me too it, it 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 took a lot of like adjusting yeah but hey haven't we all done a lot of adjusting in the past year Heck year and yeah. a half my goodness yeah that's the right word the, the year you know of it, adjustment of a tremendous adjustment you know what it is mike is uh tomorrow's probably tomorrow everybody's got off from work it's being the holiday yeah so nobody's up early on this sunday i guess and it's raining locally at least this I mean, is true this is true as well so i'm pretty sure and also we completely botched up the the introduction so it didn't really alert people like it usually does i know i don't know how you do that uh no it does it automatically it, does it really yeah okay. yeah as long as you start early enough it okay. does it by itself so it lets people know which is which is good so i think that that we started today and it just kind of went up hey we got one we got one person Hi, one Good person. Morning. Happy Memorial Day. Happy to Memorial our dear, Day. Thanks for joining our dear us, listener. We completely messed up the uh, the beginning. Mm -hmm. and the, you might and have the, even technically seen a twenty second broadcast where yes. we were having some. <laughs> yes, you probably did. It's, it's in. It's probably up there if we if we look for it later. <laughs> I took it down. I had to take it down. Oh, good, good. I'm glad. You I took it I down. put up a copyright infringement. I said it wasn't us. It was, uh, ah, it was fake us people. It's the fake us. <laughs> wow, man. Imagine that. Yeah. Well, be, we'll be hearing from our lawyers, if that's what you mean. Yeah, we will. We'll be hearing from them, the 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 doubles. So, so um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, what are we doing, Derek? Well, listen, man. I mean, uh, we can we can do. I got some things I'd like to get into, but uh, we we could keep it personal for the moment. 
um, you're you're working on music, Mike. Do you, did you feel good about working on that stuff this week? Um, I didn't actually work on anything. I was just kind of like uh, doing technical stuff, so moving things around. And uh, I got a, a a good the mic I mentioned. I bought a good mic. That's right. Um, and uh, so I, you know, I'm gonna re recut every vocal. Um, and just you know, I guess it's it's you know part of the process. You know, got to do that over and um, just gonna you know just make sure i got everything up to par that's kind of mm. what i'm doing now this, this will be the home the home stretch i guess this was uh yeah you had texted me this during this week and this is a perfect example of something where i think we talked about this last week it's very easy to be objective about uh other people's you know oh, helping yeah. other people with their problem oh yeah i would have i would have <laughs> told someone who told me what they were doing <laughs> What is wrong with you? You know, what do you think? You're going to record a whole album with a stage mic? Right. Like, Which, uh, you know, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Which, it's crazy. You know, it really is. It was crazy. But I think I was just, I was just so kind of excited about doing, doing it and recording and it, very experimenting, you know, because I, I, I guess when you start something out, you got to like fig, find your way, you know, like figure out like what you're going to do and how how you want to do it. And I think my, my little stage mic helped me to do that. And, and now that I got to the point where, you know, I was actually really, you know, it's, it's interesting though. I mean, I guess this is comparable to life things because it's kind of like when you go to do something for real, it's like a magnifying glass, you know, and that's what happened. You know, I, I went to start mixing some, you know, one of the songs and the, the music, you know, was just sounding comp almost completely different because it was actually mixed correctly. And, and, you know, that you kind of went through that when I, when I mixed your song. That's right. <laughs> so I'm doing that, but then I pull up the vocals and I'm like, oh my gosh, the quality is just, just terrible. Like it really, when you have one thing that's so, so great, it's kind of like if you cleaned up, you know, when you clean up, you know, even in, in, in your home or whatever, then you start to notice, like, let's say you've already cleaned the, whatever the floor and you, you tidied this up. Then all of a sudden you notice how dirty that bookshelf is. Let's say you're like, oh, my God, now it looks dirty because everything else is so clean. And that's A what happened. Dusty bookshelf. <laughs> and that's what happened to me you know everything was so clean and, and it sounded so good and my vocals were just sounding like i recorded them in, into headphones you know you know you can do that right is that so just use like this little mic if you here? plug your headphones into <laughs> the microphone jack you can speak into them i guess technically it's a microphone like yeah. give me one second i'm so sorry be right back. oh no problem no problem so uh, yeah, anybody got any comments while while Derek goes to check on something? Any uh? Oh, actually, uh, I don't know if, if you're out there, Navi, but uh, I was reading um a post on on Navi, Navi's I think what what they call them, the stories on Facebook. Oh yeah yeah, and uh, it it was uh, I don't know where he got it from. But actually, I, th I think I took a picture of it, so I wanted to just mention it real quick. Um, it's it's really pretty good, man. It's uh, I guess it's from a book he's reading. It says, "The desire for more positive experience is itself a negative experience, and yeah. paradoxically, the acceptance of one's negative experience is itself a positive experience." And then it goes on and says, this is a total mind F. So I'll <laughs> give like you, yeah, so I'll give you a minute to unpretzel your brain and maybe read that again. <laughs> Wanting positive experience is a negative experience. Accepting negative experience is a positive experience. It's what the philosopher Alan Watts used to refer to as the backwards law. The idea that the more you pursue feeling better all the time, the less satisfied you become as pursuing something only reinforces the fact that you lack it in the first place. Oh boy. Mm. Uh, the more you desperately want to be rich, the more poor and unworthy you feel, regardless of how much money you actually make. 
Well, Mike, I'll tell you what what a paradox, huh? Yeah, that's a nice stinger for the <laughs> the top of the morning. Um Man, that's a, that's something, huh? But that's a perfect example too oh. of in a way it's almost encouraging because you would assume that well you you won't be happy until you have all of the things that you desire. Um but it, it, you know, you don't have to change what it is you have. You have to change how you feel about what you have. Yeah, yeah. Now there are limits to that, obviously. You know, you want to have food and shelter and water and clothes and and, and a purpose in life. But boy, yeah, that is that's the yin and the yang right there. <laughs> yeah, like, like it's it's um actually it reminds me of something too. I've 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 been watching a show and uh in one in one of the. It's a it's that the Grey's Anatomy show with all the surgeons and everything. You've been into the Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I really have. Dude. I can't. I can't lie. I've been it's binging. a very uh, people love it. People love that show, man. I've been binging. I never even watched one episode till I started like a couple what, months ago or whatever. What was it that made you start? Nothing, just random. <laughs> so, Yo, let me check out this show. They say basically, um, in one of the episodes, she says that you know, in surgeons. You know the way with the physical body. If there's something sick or or dying or not doing well, they cut it out. That's what they do, you know. And then versus in life, where and this kind of connects with what what Navi had put up, I think. Where in life, like when um, stuff is painful or messed up. You can't cut it out because that later ends up being the great thing. True. So if you did cut it out like a surgeon, mm -hmm. you wouldn't get the good result. Mm. So it was just something to think about. It's almost kind of, I think it is very connected to, to that, that quote because it, it's saying, you know, by looking for the good or which could be like by trying to cut out the bad. You know, you kind of end up so focused on how bad everything is by looking for the good. So it's almost like you have to just be, you got to be very accepting, you know. And both of those ideas, I think that being very accepting of how things are that you obviously can't control, you know. Could, like back to Dr. Ivan, you know, control the controllable. Um, Man, I think that's... that's uh, it's hard, but it's so true. Yeah, agreed. And and man, doesn't what isn't that a kind of thing that could uh, uh, let's say stimulate or or give a person faith that you know it's so it would be so maddening to think well if you had something uh, something wrong with you a disease or a tumor mm -hmm. or something and you could do absolutely nothing but like it had to stay where it was. Yeah, imagine. Uh, that would be awful. That's objectively <laughs> very bad. <laughs> and yet that's kind of what it's like with regard to suffering and traumas of life. Yeah. But we have adapted a way to uh, like almost reconstitute those things um, and in fact turn them into the very things that shape us and drive us um, in you know, hopefully better directions. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> I was going to say, uh, like, like when you had texted me about the vocals, you recorded them the first time they didn't work out. You know, it's, it's very easy for me because it's not my thing <laughs> to be <laughs> like, yeah, you did have a bright, uh, silver <laughs> lining pretty rapidly, Derek. I know. Which, which, and then I, and then I had honesty, to walk it back because I, I felt like I did that too quickly. No, but in all honesty, I appreciated it because, I know that's where I need to go. Right. So, you know, I, I read it and I was just like, that's where I got to go. Right. Right, right away. Um. <laughs> right away. <laughs> Sorry if I was a little too quick with that interpretation no, but I needed, of that series of events. But, well, I'm, I'm, I think I'm at a place enough to know that, uh, I mean, A, you have the best intentions. This and, is true. And B, um, I'm at a place enough where I know that's where I got to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> so so as much as it might be like, oh, I want to like just be mad and pissed right now. And um, I 
to congratulate myself a little. I didn't spend a lot of time being mad and pissed. Good I think you, purchasing the mic, the good one, which I didn't want to spend the money, right? Um, right away, was like a like a a quick like fix. Yeah, because it made me focus on the solution. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. buying it, getting it right away. It was like, okay, this is the solution. And I was already like solution based. I wasn't like in a dwelling or like, luckily I didn't go into a, a slump of like, what's, you know, what's the point? All the work I did, you know, I was, I was <laughs> I mean, so ready for that. Done. Oh my God. Yeah, I was sure. so, oh, yeah. I, it, that was the first reaction. The first reaction was that like, oh gosh. Oh no. Well, maybe what's I should just point? never do anything Dude, again. You know, I was getting real <laughs> Charlie Brown on it, you know? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention to Snoopy, you know, <laughs> I was just walking with my head down like this, mm -hmm. doom, doom, doom on the yeah. grass. And then you so saw, bummed. you saw all the different, you know, the night went to day and I just kept <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, uh, th it is worth mentioning too, that like, uh, I think it was a good call to buy the mic which is like a first tangible step in like, look, I, I just got to keep moving on this thing. Um, I think of this quote all the time. You just made me think of it. This is uh, from our dear friend, friend of the show, Marianne Williamson. Um, quote, I really like people who participate in the solution to problems don't seem to find that don't seem to find themselves as depressed about those problems yeah. as do people standing on the sidelines doing nothing. Hope mm. is born of participation in hopeful solutions. We are happy to the extent that we choose to notice and to create the reasons for happiness. Optimism and happiness are the results of spiritual work. Man, um, that's a great one. I've been thinking about that a lot lately because um, in a situation where nowadays, and of course to some extent this has always been the case, life has always been really crazy and scary and awful uh, at times. Um, <laughs> no but kidding. Like, man, oh man, when you watch the TV too much or you oh, read God. too many articles online, it just seems like there's so many problems in the world. And it's... what could I possibly do about any of them? And I love that first part, which is like people who participate in some solution to some yeah. problem. However feel small better. it may be or... Exactly. Yeah. Like... Um, some, some way. I, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but... I told myself like when things started to open back up um, that I would volunteer somewhere because as much as I can trick myself into thinking like, Oh, I do comedy shows so I can make people laugh. So it like makes their day better. It's like, <laughs> yeah, but that's still a pretty self-serving way to go about that. Cause I want people to look at me and find, yeah. you know, there are more tangible, efficacious ways of making a positive impact in the world. Um, so, uh, I, on Saturdays, I've started to uh, volunteer in Prospect Park and oh, uh, nice. basically like go around and clean up the park. You know, it takes an hour, hour and a half, fill up a trash bag. And um, while it doesn't make me feel like I'm solving all the world's problems, because I'm assuredly not, um, there is something to be said for just taking an action, doing a thing. We talk doing about all the time on the show, yeah. like one step. That's all this change will only ever happen one step at a time. And if a million people take one step, that's a big deal. Um, and it does, like, if only for one's own peace of mind. That, like you said, if you had sat, allowed yourself m more time to sit back and be like, oh, my gosh, this is ridiculous. Wait, 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 question yeah. everything. Oh, no, it's a huge problem. It was such a good call from a spiritual standpoint, <laughs> I think, for you to be like, let me do something to take care of this or, or continue to push this thing forward. Um, and I really do believe, and it, it was uh, oddly uh, easy for me to see, again, because it's not my pro project personally. Yeah. But from a 10,000 foot view, a producer who is as accomplished as yourself, it makes no sense. Why? <laughs> Why was I doing that? That just show it shows you, yes. It's, but it just showed, I mean, that is the best example, you know, of, of how stupid I can be or but, anyone, but, you know, 
because yes. you get immersed in your you can really lie to yourself really well like the whole well, time true. against You're like, everything i know I asked you about it at one of our sushi yeah. dates recently. Yeah, I was and like, I was oh, like, you just recorded it while you were out there? You are like, yeah, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just on this little mic, that, you know, <laughs> in my bag. And it's it's funny, man. You know, I know better, but I think because I know better, I guess I had, like, possibly an overconfidence of, like, I can, like, make it sound good. You know, that's what of I course. kept thinking to myself. Yeah. And I really believed that. So it was actually like overconfidence too, <laughs> way overconfidence because sure because one of the first rules is garbage in, garbage out. Uh, true. This that's true. a that's like one oh one. That's like you just walked in. That's that's the first thing they tell you. <laughs> and I'm over here like so I'm thinking I'm so evolved and you know like I, I got so many tricks up my sleeve. I'll make this thing sound great. And you could make it sound good, but the only way to make right. it sound good is to make everything else sound bad. Mm, to bring everything else down, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, well, who wants to do that, right? <laughs> so, unless that's what you're going for, and I'm not I'm not going for that, so that, right. that didn't work. Um, that, that didn't yeah, happen. man. But but if if we have faith with regard to this situation, it is so nonsensical that a, a producer of your accomplishment would do that. Yeah, that, sure, sure is. That it must mean to me that you were meant, you know, from a grander scale. Yeah. To re-record those things and that when you do that, it will yield something better. I believe that, yeah. I mean, it, I'm such a goof that um, I'm beating myself up a little today. Uh, that, <laughs> you know, when I put, <laughs> when I, when I connected it yesterday and I listened to just talking on it, mm. I was like, oh my gosh. It's, it's <laughs> like, I was this like, sounds good. this sounds, this sounds better than after I worked hard to EQ the, uh, <laughs> the other one. It sounds better to just to begin with. It is funny so, how it works like that. <laughs> so, so I'm like, man, you're, you're a goof. You, you, you know, but in a way it was good because, uh, I made it sound okay like that. So I could probably make it sound pretty damn good with the with the right stuff. So it it is encouraging, certainly. <laughs> yeah, it's okay without it. So you know, yeah, I, and I don't know if I maybe I mentioned this to you before, but I have a, a a somewhat similar story in the sense that um, during COVID and stuff, the thing that ultimately led me to writing some funny kind of political songs like I'm doing now is I got really into like these old labor songs from the early 20th century and stuff like that. And I wanted to take some of those old songs. These are like old folk songs from 1910. And I wanted oh, wow. to like make uh, like beats basically. And like I'd been messing around with a lot of like synth and MIDI stuff. And so I took like five or six songs and made like full versions of them that were all digital and synth and stuff like that. And then I finally got around, I uh, finally was like ready to do the vocals for them. And, uh, you know, of course I was just recording them at home. So maybe the quality was, was what it was, but I started to record the vocals for like the first two. And I realized like, oh, in order to, ha to sing these songs with like a dance beat and stuff, like I need to have a voice like Rihanna in order in order to do that. I like I need to be Tina Turner in order to make this sound the way mm -hmm. that they need to sound in order and like the way that I'm I sh I think they should sound. And so I basically spent like weeks and weeks working on that project and came to a point where I was like yeah, I got to throw all this away. This, <laughs> this is totally useless. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. And sure. yet, it was the thing that made me realize, for better or for worse, and I would say for better, like, oh, well, why don't I just write some guitar songs about those kinds of things, maybe make them a little funny. There you go. And so, from one perspective, working on that project was an enormous waste of time, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because it yielded, uh, in terms of that project, absolutely nothing. Uh, and yet, over yeah. a long enough timeline, it was the thing that pushed me toward the thing that I'm doing now, which is 
uh, I feel very good about, I feel is a summation of, of my life's pursuits in some ways. Um, yeah. And, yeah. uh, but again, in that moment, though, that was a dark couple days <laughs> for me where I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, there's a, there's a, a line in one of the songs, uh, that I have, it's, it says out of 10 things we try, one will turn out well. And uh, I believe that, you know, I don't think I don't think everything, you know, we try is is meant to even turn out well. I don't think so. Uh, 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 and the thing is, the one won't work out unless you try the 10 different things. Right. Which is a little harder to reckon with. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's tons of, there's tons of, gosh, and before you succeed, there's just tons of failure. Yeah, and that's one of the things that makes it so difficult about being particularly a, a creative person. A creative person nowadays, especially, when we are so, uh, everything's about the dollar, and can, and, and Greg doesn't want to paint because who's going to buy his paintings? Who cares? And so when we're very locked into this success versus failure, uh, dichotomy let's mm -hmm. say uh god damn it it is frustrating <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> you it's, know it's hard to break free i guess of the you know it's like seeing everything through through everybody's eye yeah everybody else's eyes right it's really a hard thing to do because um we're certainly not trained to do that we're actually we're 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 in this in my opinion we're in a state of uh narcissist 101 yeah <laughs> and we're being taught how to be more narcissistic and uh oh yes 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 and um i truly believe that and uh that's a big fight for all of us to try not to be that way you know i mean it's really it's really a strange thing to um post something or um, you know and want to get those those dopamines or endorphins whatever flowing um you know, by, by, oh, wow, I got this many likes. And this one said, oh, that's the greatest, uh, song ever or something. Um, it's really, it's not, um, it's not where happiness comes from. I don't think so. And that's the problem. It's, it's such a trick. And, um, happiness comes from the, the, the pain and, the oh God, this sucks. I hate saying this. <laughs> I hate saying it because I'm I'm gonna share a little bit, but um, I hate saying this because you know I have a uh, a couple situations going on where you know basically people close to me are are, are probably gonna pass away. You know, one one who helped me tremendously, and another one who I was very close with, and we're no longer close like that, and um it really is in those things that um something good will will come you know it's like we uh when we pass away um it's it's almost like that there you know like the when the seed dies it that's when the growth happens and i think that we as humans even you know we've talked about that giving you giving people their flowers and stuff um, I think our true release is in is in our death and everything that we and we won't be able to see it, you know, and we can try to see it before people pass away. Um, but their true purpose. You really can't see it until they're gone. That's that's my belief, at least I feel like I compare it to a seed, I, you know, um, we pass away and, and those true purposes of people kind of come out and uh that's what i'm thinking with those situations you know there's nothing you can do about them um and they're particularly uncomfortable for me particularly you know because of the they're, they're like key people um in my life and it's it's very um it's kind of like when you sent me the the text right away well when you do them over da 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 it's like I what I just said I I know it in my heart and my mind like I know it's true but man like to it's hard to like walk through stuff that that tall 
Yes, you know, it really is. It's very hard, like, to, to, to understand that and, like, walk through it that tall. Like, yes, this is the way it is. And, and, I, and I'm going to, like, you know, it's draining. It's really draining. It's almost yeah. like what Alan Watts is saying, you know, it's like a backwards thing. You know, this is what it is. So you're kind of, like, so aware mm -hmm. <laughs> that it makes it worse. And it's like, so I don't, I don't know. I don't have... Once again, I I know I don't know, mm. um, and you do have to go through it. Um, there's nothing. There's there's no escaping life, and that's something we come up against. That's really the the maybe the most difficult thing about uh, content content and the things that we talk about is, um, you know, it's one thing that and it is important I think to talk about these kinds mm -hmm. of things. Um, but the experience of something is actually quite different. I mean, as yeah. much as we talk about this stuff and then every week come in with stories where we say, yeah, so I messed this thing up. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's ostensibly what the show is, yeah. is talking about how I should be, how I know I should be, and then t in, uh, relating some story of how I completely yeah. was not that way. <laughs> and and that's always some, one of the frustrations that I have with, uh, you know, when I was you know, in the cult and, and following that, the like fundamentalist Christianity, you know, you got all these quotes, you know, and, and they, they're just not realistic. <laughs> you know, there's, there's so many you could, you pull up and you, you quote scripture and, and everybody conveniently, you know, quotes, quotes things to mean whatever they want. But it, it's just like, you know, you know, whatever you ask in my name, it shall be given. It's like, oh, well, let me ask. And then it, it doesn't happen. And then, oh, well, why didn't it happen? Well, that's your fault. You don't have any faith. Oh, okay, thanks. And it, then so you have this, like, you go from, uh, you're supposed to go from glory to glory. There's, there's a scripture like that, you know. But you go from this sucks to this sucks. To, oh, this sucks even more, maybe. <laughs> now let me go back to the first this sucks because it didn't suck as this sucks it even more sucked less. so you go from this sucks to this sucks to this sucks and you don't really go and i think the way to go from glory to glory uh as we know it as we can grasp it um is to just like to oh god we're going back to this remember the eat what i give you mm, yeah drink the cup it's so it's on the table it's on the buffet um that's what's being served right. there's no menu in life no you don't you know you let, don't. let me get let me get a number one <laughs> no you're eating a number five this is this what is you not what i order. there's no waiter <laughs> you know and that and you know what that's a funny thing too because a lot of us i i'm glad we're laughing a little because it, it, you know a lot a lot of uh people do treat god sort of like like we've said before like like a like a kind of right. slot mm. machine or or a, a waiter you know like yes. a, I, you know what god Girl, i'll so have I'm... one of these and and do, and and be light on this and, yeah, you know, yeah. you I know it's almost the balsamic for the, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Creamy oh, and we feel like god is like of course oh, my damn of course. Oh, but of course yeah, and, then, and then we even tip him in the offering you know good yes. great job god Thanks, here's hey. a little extra Hey, you really did good on this. You one really now. did good this week. There's an, <laughs> here's, here's an extra hundred for you. You did great. Keep up the good work, all right, pal. <laughs> Keep it up. I know. I know. I know they don't pay you well up there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they run you ragged. I know. Yeah, take I know. Care everybody's needs. <laughs> I know the wages aren't fair for waiters. <laughs> so I'm going to give you an extra good one. Um, and man, it's like it just don't work that way, man. No. And it just don't, man. Uh, life is messy. It's unfair. We end up in situations uh, that we could never have dreamed of. Certainly not. Never, like, like just, and 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 there's like this simultaneousness of of how things happen. You know, it's never, it's never one or two things. I know. Ten you or noticed? fifteen. Yeah, right. And it's, it's you so know, many things. And it's, it's little in the teens, things usually. Big things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's in the 20s, you're probably not getting out of bed. Yeah, then you're in a tough spot. But uh, I'm going to say the average, the average guy or gal. Uh, if you're having a tough week. You're in the teens. 
you know, 14, 15 yeah, bad yeah. things coming at you. Different things, you know. No, yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna tally them up and um and the only way you can bring it down to single digits is by actually running away from everything. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> it's completely Yeah, I gotta get it. this teen thing. This gotta, teen these teen numbers are going into twenty maybe. Yeah. I'm running away from everything. I, oh uh, we're down to like a two and three now. I'm fine. Everything's yeah. fine. Today was a four. That's great. <laughs> But then when you come down back to life, you're, you're going to be up at a, at a, you you know what's funny? You come back and you might hit 20 for the first week. Yeah, right. And then you're going to have to bring it back down. It. Yeah, it's all it's all here like, hey, we missed you. Mm -hmm. Hope you had a great time. <laughs> now let's talk. It's like, no, okay. Let's really get into it. Let's get into it. That's one of the most difficult things about uh let's say like intellectually understanding spirit big spiritual principles oh. is there's a temptation that if we know that if we have faith and we we know that everything will work out in the end and, and we, we believe in that kind of thing and that that suffering is grace and that we can turn negativity into positivity over a long enough timeline there's a temptation to when you experience suffering almost like ignore it or almost push it down or choose to say, Oh no, it's fine. Everything's fine. Hmm. And, um, that I guess is a Trump or Rinpoche kind of spiritual materialism thing. Yeah. That one, one of the most, maybe the most difficult spiritual principle is that though we intellectually understand these things, we, we may have faith, we still have to go through the experience of feeling those difficult things yeah. in order to grow from them. Yeah, and it was crazy. Let's let's put some more crazy on there. It's that what like that wasn't crazy enough. <laughs> uh, that's what we call living. That like is people yeah. who don't experience those things want to. And that that's yeah. where that idea of cutting themselves or um, you know, wanting to feel something, right? Right. Um, so it's it's uh, it's really like that's sobering, like to me to like to to think of that. You know, like all these emotions and and all these ups and downs and um, all this clashing of between humans, uh, of different opinions and different pain. Um. Sometimes I'm learning what I'm learning now is that sometimes um, it's not the details, you know, like I did this to you and you did this to me. Yeah, it's it's the uh, it's the feelings and emotions that each of us feel and sharing that with the other, you know, like like it's not so much that. uh uh, I'm joking here, so so it's not. This isn't about about you, but it, so so. <laughs> it can if, be. That's okay. If if uh, like in that situation when you sent me that that you know oh kind of get over get over it um this is uh whatever let's uh you know this is a good thing. What if like that really got me upset, and I focus on that thing. And I come to you and I'm like, you know what, Derek, you shouldn't have done that because I was going through this, 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 this and, and it made me feel this, 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 and you're wrong. You're wrong. And you say, but Mike, blah, 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 blah. you know, you kind of defend yourself. You know, you say, well, this, 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 this. And I say, no, no, no. And we stay with those details. What I'm learning in relationships is that um, the right way to do that is not even to go and say, you know what, you did this. It's more the right thing to say, you know, it made me feel like this mm. when you said that. And then not only that, that's not enough. Because <laughs> even that has to be in there. Mm. It has to and it and it doesn't even matter about the thing, you know, that you that you said or you suggested. It's more about me helping you get into the why and where I am, you know, cause I, th cause you know, I had a conversation with someone recently and 
we butt heads a lot and they said something and it was how they felt. And that's how I learned this. And when they said how they felt, that blew me away because, man, they connected with me so on such a deep level mm. that I didn't really care about the details anymore. You yeah. know, there could be no tit for tat. There could be, once they said how they felt and it made sense to me because I'm like, I could see how you would feel that way when I said that. And that, to me, it was kind of mind blowing because I th I'm learning that we have to get beyond the details and we have to get into the emotion, the feeling, you know, you know, when you, when you did that, it made me feel discouraged because I've been killing myself, blah, 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 da, 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 get through this whole thing. That's, and I think that people can all relate to that. But when you attack a person for what they did, normally, you know, they put the walls up. It's like the button, okay, wall's coming up. <laughs> You're attacking. What, what do you, I mean, but it's completely normal if you think about it. Like, True. if a city's being attacked, they, and they got walls to put, that they could put up. You can put them up. Put them up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, and I think that, um, that that's, it's, it's, um, and it's, that's a healing form of communication that's a growing form of communication uh and it makes you feel better instead of worse when you're done yeah yeah and i, I think we we need to learn that one uh i think that's a brilliant point like because um even like being in a relationship it, it can be you know communication is so and being in any type of relationship yeah. communication is very important and one of the things that makes life very difficult is that we don't know two people live the same realities. Facts, you know, we, when yes. we walk down the street, okay, we might see the same buildings. But how we experience life is incredibly unique to how, uh, how yeah. you feel. And <clears throat> we kind of assume that everybody generally feels the same about most things. God, isn't that stupid of us? Is very foolish. <laughs> we do. You're, Listen, you're, we so do. Right, right. You're like, well, that was a great time, you know? And you're like, oh, I don't know. It wasn't so great. Right. Like, well, what's like, wrong with what's you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> I believe there's a Maya Angelou quote that says, uh, you know, people people will forget what you did to them, but they'll never forget how, how you made them feel. Yes, that's beautiful. Um, yes. And that's I such think a that truth. Is very true. And so true. Couldn't couldn't that solve so many arguments? Because it is true. A lot of arguments are are like, well, I thought it was this, and the other person says, well, I thought it was this. Well, why yeah. didn't you this? Well, I thought you were gonna this. And yeah, what and what they're arguing about is like, quote unquote, what happened, um, which is not, not actually that important insofar as it's almost unreal. Because two different things have happened. There is yeah. the way that you experienced it and the way the other person experienced yeah. it. Which are both valid. Here, you know, here's the kicker. Yeah. Let's make it a little more crazy. You know, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to just continuously pour more crazy on there. Yes. <laughs> They're both, they were, both very much did happen. They yeah. both very much are real. And Absolutely. the only way to discuss how they the only way to have an actual conversation about what has occurred is to say it how it made you feel. That's the thing. That's um, the thing, and that's never wrong. That's which just, is, mm. we, you know, here's here's let's put some more crazy in, in the mix. That's the only time we can never be wrong. We always want to be right. I know. <laughs> and the one way that we could actually always be right. Always. We completely avoid. No, yeah, we can, I cannot how tell you how screwed up are humans? <laughs> Think about that. That's just, you know, I, I love to find these little, these little wacky things in, in humanity. Yes. Because they make us laugh. It's like, how screwed up can you be that you always want to be right? Mm -hmm. And the only way you could always be right you're is to express avoiding. how you felt about something or because then no one can say well you didn't feel that way no like, no i you, was there you can't not be 
and even if you know the, the, there's always gonna be some sort of um they may not understand why you feel that way completely right they but there's there will be the the kind of validation that we look for by being right yes which is almost like it's a false sense of um validation really it's like what is, what is the, the the joke of validation should only be for parking you know <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, and it's kind of true, one. you know, and, uh, and, uh, we're looking for it, it in all the wrong places, you know, it, of course, what we're looking for between each other is to be understood. And we always say that, you know, no one understands me, but here, here's another, let's pour some more crazy on there. You know, no one understands you or me, let's say, because I'm not really understanding myself and I'm not really expressing it properly mm. so you know here's an, another leap what if i have to take some responsibility in that no Ugh. one understands me okay how about if you make that your job to help them understand you mm. in the way that i'm saying though not in the well this happened to me and then this happened and that's why i'm angry and it's your fault because when i came in and no what if we did it in the in expressing how we feel the emotion of it uh you know instead of instead of when i got home uh right away you wanted me to take out the garbage and did it say you know it made me feel messed up because i had a rough day and this happened and that happened and when you said that to me it made me feel like you don't even care about me because all you want me to do is do stuff. And it made me feel like just a robot or, you know, like that kind of a conversation, I think is much better than every time I come home, da -da 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 -da. Did it, you know what I mean? And it, I mean, this is totally false, by the way, this is not from my, my personal life. I don't mind sharing my personal stuff, but I don't want people to get mixed up like that. That's yeah. not a particular thing right. um, that happens, but I, I've expressed so many particular things here, but that's not one of them. <laughs> but it was just an easy one, you know? Right, right. Um, and I think that, you know, that's that's a key, man. That's such a key, you know? it's it's, And it feels good to just say that rather than, why do you always do that? Why is this? Right. Let's get to the root of the problem, you know? Right, right. And uh, we got some comments. Here, Johnny Whitfield says, you don't need faith when things are good. I suppose that is true because, uh, and again, that's like um, when things are good, you tend to get caught up in that moment. So you're like, yeah. well, I'm not going to take time to cherish everything's this because great. Everything's, everything's great. <laughs> I figured everything out. I think it's important to keep faith in mind when things are yeah. good. You may not need it in the way that you need it when things you are good. You should, but, but you know, usually that's, that's that, you know, who needs Ram Das or, <laughs> or Watts? I got this thing clicked I'm, right now everything's man fine everything's perfect now. right now i just need to be right here <laughs> and leaf adds that some people end up driving themselves insane seeking validation the whole time they forgot they were already brilliant yeah yeah and that goes to the loving yourself and to yeah that's that's a whole nother big big thanks for bringing that up leaf because that's that's such a big piece and that is uh i believe like a deep buddhist principle that um you know we don't have to like I said at the top of the show, we don't have to change what it is. We have to change how we feel about what it is. And the caveat being how yeah. we feel about it <clears throat> is the only thing we could possibly change anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this, this, I'll get a tiny bit personal because I was uh, struggling with something. And one of the things I was talking to someone and, and they, they kind of like brought up worst case scenario of mm. something. And I just said, I, if I think worst case scenario on this, I know I can't handle that. Mm -hmm. So don't even do that. Don't entertain that. <laughs> I'm just doing a healthy impulse, <laughs> one bit at a time. Yes. And I think that 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 is also like a, in all the stuff we're talking about, like a very um, kind of a, a healthy way of dealing with things. You know, as far as faith, hope. Um, so it, you know, the, the, yes, it's true. That thing could happen. It could, and it may, but 
you might need I'm talking for myself, you know, in that in that particular instance, I need, let's put it that way, to not think of that. I need to think it's going to be okay. I need to think it's going to work out. I need to think that we're going to figure things out. I need to think that. Mm. And I think that's the hope and and the faith. You know, like it's like prepare for the worst, you know, hope for the best. And I think that that is very useful cliche because if you're just so certain of the worst and you've got this sort of like self-fulfilling prophecy going on of what's going to happen what good is that that's all i'm asking you're right what what help is that you know I, I, I don't even know what good it would do like what what possible good someone might say you know being devil's advocate here they might say hey the good it does is you're not lying to yourself, you, you know. But is it even lying? Because who knows what the future holds? Who's lying to themselves? The person who thinks they know what's going to happen? Or the person's just saying, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to think the worst because it's just takes such a toll on me. Mm -hmm. And I want to try to, like, you know, get through this. And it does speak to the importance of the teaching of Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now, that like in the present yeah, moment... that does. Um, in the present moment, everything is okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know Ram Dass mentioning like, if you were... If you see a bear in the wild, you're afraid because you don't want that bear to come near you. Not because you've seen a bear necessarily. So then when the bear starts to come near you, you're now afraid that the bear is going to start chasing you. And then when the bear starts chasing you, you're afraid because it's going to attack you. And then when you when the bear attacks you, you're afraid because you're worried you're going to die. But throughout that entire series of things, you were afraid about a thing that wasn't technically happening yet. <laughs> yeah, because I, I would jump straight to I'm, I'm gonna I'm die. Gonna die. <laughs> That's Which amazing. technically is not I'd... in the moment of now. I mean, this is the the tight no, wire no. act, you, but in the, it's not happening. You might yet. be right. Yeah, <laughs> you could be right. You could also be wrong. You could also be wrong. You could just walk away because he just ate <laughs> some some other unlucky human. That's right. He just nice and full. <laughs> I just give you a big old wave <laughs> from the pair. Pe pe um, but obviously, that's the most extreme of examples. Mm. But we do have a tendency to occupy these kind of negative spaces. And it is like you kind of gleaned, Mike, that like, or that you were uh, hinting at that when you occupy those, those negative possibilities constantly, it's almost as if they're more likely to become realities. Um, because almost from like a cosmic principle, you like attract those kind of energies I'm sure there's someday we'll have some kind of science to that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and and too, it, it makes me think of uh, Mila Repa, who was one of uh, I think Trogim Trump Rinpoche's like his lineage, like way 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 back. Um, who you know this person was enlightened, but he was a farmer, so he didn't ex stop experiencing life. He didn't he didn't like it, it's not like he was never upset about anything yeah. it's about removing the attachment to being upset and so as we said at the top this wow. is life this is is what it is this is the, ex the experience of being alive being a person i like that specific phrase uh detaching yourself from being upset you know just to right which is not to say that you are never upset because inevitably you will because you're sure, a person yeah. but clinging on to those things I, I, we we do kind of i certainly will torture myself imagining the things that yeah. could possibly also go wrong or how it could go wrong even more than it is now you know that there's like a twisted i mean for me i'm speaking for me there's like a twisted pleasure in that there really is man it's there a really twist. is it's twisted but it it, is, there is a yeah, there is a pleasure in that. <laughs> there is. It's true. Oh. I wish it weren't, but it is something I used to do all the time. 
I really tried to work at, at not doing this. Particularly, I still do it, I got to say. If I'm in the shower in the morning before work, I'm having a fake argument with a person. <laughs> and I'm imagining what I they would say and then how I would counter. Yeah, you've you know? got it all. And I just, and then they would say <laughs> this, but then I would say this. You're writing the script. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, really using my creative <laughs> mind to <laughs> arrange the words perfectly so that, oh no, I say oh, this man. first. So then this thing really drives it home. And at the end of that exercise, absolutely nothing is different other than I have disturbed my own mental headspace. <laughs> yes. And you know what you just made me think of? Which this is a good way to end the show um, because this had me dumbfounded. <laughs> you know where I'm going, that there's people. Oh, dude. Yeah. Wow. Who can't do what Derek just explained. <clears throat> Apparently, now you sent me an article this week, and it said that they have recently discovered, I guess, there are certain people know. who do who appear not to have an inner monologue, or at least much less so, like, don't have an inner yeah. monologue. Or they don't, they're not, like, constantly... There's no, like, you know, I'm an idiot. No, I'm not. There's I, no... Well, that's just like when I was blah, blah, blah. No. Well, it reminds me of this. You would ask them a question, and that does not happen. If they, right. they they don't say if I answer this way, then this is going to happen, and I, if I, I answer that way, then this will happen. So I'm going to answer this way. Right. They don't do that. I don't understand that. Like I'm I not. Don't, I don't I'm not going to say it doesn't exist. Right. Because um, I talked about it with my son, who's way smarter than me, and he, of course, has helped me understand it. Oh, good. I wish he was there Of course. For me. You know, it's so great to have a, uh, such a smart kid. That's why you have kids. He's like, well, Dad, you know, this is how I, when the things like that come up. Oh, shit. Here we go. I pull up a chair, you know? Yeah. All right. Break he it goes, down. imagine if you were deaf. Thanks. There it is. There's the answer, because if you were deaf, you do not have language. Right. Well, there, yeah. Good point. So good you're point. able to think. And with a... Uh, without language now are right. you, you using memory are you using are you visualizing or so these people are just not using language to do what we're doing with language right so they may rem they may remember it all like 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 watching a, a mute film mm -hmm. they may I mean, I mean i don't know i'm not one of those people but at least what he said helped me to like even get into a space where I could be like, oh, could possibly okay. understand that. Yeah. Now, do you think that the people who don't have that kind of inner voice are those people, and this is a dubious question, are those people more or less enlightened? <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> Listen, I, don't, I had a hard time. I was kind of like... Um, I think they're more enlightened, I think. I had a hard time even believing they exist. Yeah, me too. So My like first thing you, was like, this is, I don't know. To get that. into the zone you're talking about, I'm not even ready <laughs> like to, to, to even have a thought about that. I was just like, yeah. I was struggling to believe because that's so, that's such a ginormous part of my life that's how i experience life almost exclusively <laughs> listen man my constant self-judgment i got i got you know the angel the devil and like this, five other pricks yeah you know yapping at <laughs> you know me just yapping at me you might, day. Might, the voice from a, an old friend or <laughs> you know i've got i've got it all going on you know or some someone that i read a lot or Someone, you know, yes. what Watts is up there somewhere, you know? Pima's yelling at us Pima's all day. yelling at me all the time. <laughs> so I don't even have a clue how that would work. <laughs> you know, I've got, you know, I mean, there's famous songs about, vo you know, voices in my head. And yeah. um, I, I don't even know where to go with that. I just, I thought it was cool to end on that because if, yeah. if all the crazy wasn't enough for you <laughs> that we talked about... Just imagine. Here's here's one just in case. It's like we're already up by thirteen nothing, you know, on crazy versus sane. 
<laughs> you know, but I, but then I still said that's not enough. Let we, me just you, from the three point line. Yeah, let's just go. Drop, drop this one down <laughs> on you. Let's just go. Those people, I mean, when they go to when they're like lying in bed at night, just silence, just app, just complete. I want to talk to one of them and yeah, and, for and just understand like because that's fascinating. Deal. That's like it's like finding like a, I mean, just a new. It's not just like a. a it feels almost like interplanetary. It does. It does seem like those people are not human. <laughs> to, in, from as my, far as I understand it, you know, it's such a, it's too big a part of my experience. Like, e, for real, I want to know. Uh, inquiring minds want to know. Like, how do they reason? How do they make decisions? Can, and and the, the thing that I'm concerned about is they may not even be able to articulate it because it's beyond words. What if it's all very emotional? What if it's like? Yeah, what if right. they are? so advanced what if they are that advanced that it's like it's it's almost all intuitive so the games we play with all this maybe this and maybe that they're not even they don't need to have time for that kind of thing right it's and all they, extent, those people might be more they might be more enlightened enlightened yeah maybe they maybe they look at like us like what are you wasting time with all that can't you just tune in like you suppose you should just know that doesn't happen to you. I'm you have trying. to talk about it. I'm like, trying. <laughs> it it happens and instantly. I already know and I feel fine about that. God damn. So you've got, they're probably amazed at us. Like so you've got to like podcast, write oh. things down, and like talk read, to people, read and books like, about it. And hmm. wow. Oh, that's, that's interesting. That's sad for you. <laughs> that's sad for you. I'll, I'm not going to be talking with you very much. You know, you go find your own kind. Yeah, if you are one of those people out there, I guess reach out to us. If yeah, you just will, email if me. Co come down into. I just want to know realm. you're real. Yeah, for real. I know because I, I just you know, know I, that. you read something on the internet, it might but not, might not be true. You know. Well, I kept digging, and it, it's. It seems to be it seem legit. I gotta say, legit. I read the article, yeah, it's yeah. A, the legit thing, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's not fake news, as far as I can gather. But uh, what do you say we wrap it up, man? It is it is Memorial Day weekend. You, you you're gonna <sighs> right. be late for service. We don't want that. We don't want that. We can't have that, Mike. Um, well, you know, I will say, uh, great chatting with you, Mike. This was a fun one today. Yeah, it was. It was. It started out rocky, man. It's true. We had a very rocky start. Today. Started out rocky, but. <laughs> But that's, I mean, here we go. That's actually, that fit the conversation quite well. This is true. It started out rocky, messy, and within the mess, we we, we made craziness. Indeed, indeed, we did. <laughs> Good craziness, though. So you're re-recording vocals this week? Is that the project? I don't know, man. I'm still, yeah. now that I'm fixing things up, I'm thinking, let me fix things up completely you might as well right and then once i do that i'll probably just try to go straight in mm -hmm. uh, and but i'm i'm not gonna kill myself with it you know like just put a big burden on it. myself of like oh my god you gotta do you gotta get this done right no reason for it man right it's enough troubles out there mm -hmm. and once i meet True. these people i'll just ask them what to do yeah because apparently they should know they've got it <laughs> they don't even have to meditate oh on it it's it's so simple don't you see uh, how do they what would do would they even meditate i guess what's they, the point like, they're uh, already quiet point. in the mind <laughs> like what do you meditate how do you meditate what would you meditate for your I, mind is quiet uh, yeah they they uh, they figured it out I, yeah i guess uh, like what's the point meditating would be redundant to them they I must thought. listen to like the meditation teacher you know and she goes and then you have voices coming and saying just ignore them. They're like, what voices? No, I don't. What's wrong with this lady? <laughs> Is she crazy? <laughs> so, I mean, I want to talk to these people, man. <laughs> well, we'll All have right. to figure that out this week, Mike. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah I'll figure that out this <laughs> week. We'll get to the bottom of that in one week. <laughs> Let's do that. That's that's a light week for us. Yeah, it was just a little homework. Uh, Get to the thing. bottom of that whole thing. 10, 10, 15 minutes, I can figure it out. Yeah. yeah, we'll have it all figured out for you guys by next Sunday. That's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> or, or your money back. <laughs> all right, guys. See you next time.